Okay, it's your boy, and I'm back. Must be me, we're talking about... <laughs> I don't even want to say it. We know what we're talking about today. Y'all know what it is? The book. Now listen, pose the question to the women last week, and uh, nobody responded. So I'm assuming that all y'all single, doing swell, don't need a man, you know, independent woman. Stop that. That's some shenanigans. We not going. I'm not going. Must be me ain't going. All y'all know what you want out your man. You already know what you believe his role is. But let's think about this first. Before you start giving me answers, let's consider this for a moment. <laughs> That's my phone, y'all. Hold on. I'm answering the phone while I'm talking to y'all real quick. Hold on once. What's going on, Rod? Yeah, after I get through, I'm over here working on these videos. Alright. Alright. So, yeah, now let me get back. <laughs> Wait, did this dude really answer the phone? Yes, because y'all didn't respond to me when I asked y'all some questions. So now I'm going to ask y'all again. What do you think is the male's role in your relationship? Because I can give y'all all the answers the women gave me, or better yet, y'all can respond. Put the response to the end of the video with the comment and be like, hey, hashtag must be me book. Tell me what you think the role is because I refuse to believe that all of y'all are single. All of y'all are just pure and untainted and innocent and just the way the Lord wants you to be. That's a lie. And y'all know we will all get struck down if y'all start lying to me talking about ain't nobody. You got six kids, but you don't need no man. You needed somebody to help you make them kids. So don't lie to me to what you don't need no man. Because somebody helped you make I don't care if it took 30 seconds to help you make one of them kids, but somebody helped you out. So now let's talk about this. What do you think his role is? Because this is the problem. Most of us end up in relationships, but the problem is we never acquire the idea of what the role is. What is my part? What is his part? You never sat down and talked about that. So now you done met up at the club. Y'all done got it in. All of a sudden you got a whole new relationship. You don't know. You don't even know the man's last name. He don't know your last name. All he knows is that that Hennessy and that Ciroc last night. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's how y'all got it in. Now y'all in a hard relationship. And don't probably don't even like each other. You only got one thing in common because nobody knows their place. Nobody knows their role. You was holding down for you met him. So according to him, well, shoot, she could keep holding it down. I ain't got to help her out. I can keep my money myself. I'm like, shoot. No, oh, man, I got a piece at home. You know, she do everything, my nigga. You know it's good. No, it's not. <laughs> Because you've been holding down, now he there, now that's a whole other piece, set of clothes to watch. A whole other mouth to feed. Somebody else driving your car, driving your car, excuse me. Because I see a whole lot of these little Nissan Altimans running around, and I be feeling bad. Like, see, he gonna tell that girl car, I'm so sick of this nigga riding that girl. He gonna, everybody, why all y'all buy Nissan Altimans anyway? I'm just curious about that, but I be like, he gonna tear that girl car up. Every time I see one, I'm like, he gonna tell, ooh, he, ooh, he driving that girl car too fast. No, he ain't got no license. And you got insurance, you know they ain't gonna pay for the car, right? Because he ain't got no license, but you got insurance, but quit letting that nigga drive your car. But anyway, <laughs> let's get back on point. Now, answer the question. What do you think the role is? Because I got a bunch of answers here, and I'm going to tell you first and foremost, the universal answer I was given was that they believe he should be a provider. Uh-oh. Message. Provider. Now, if he driving your car, and you got to keep filling it up, Somehow, I just don't feel like he providing for you. He not helping you, my sister. I, I don't feel that. Mm, I don't see that happening right there. I don't understand provider. But baby, let me get the keys to your car. I'll be right back. Me and my, me and me and me and little bunch, me and little bunch and little Ray Ray, we finna run here. I finna bust a move. How come every time he bust a move, he be broke? Cause he come back after he done bust a move, be like. Hey, let me get ten dollars real quick. He's like, wait a minute, nigga. Like, you busting moves right here. But I ain't got no gas. You ain't got no money. But you, what kind of moves is you busting? Y'all throwing water balloons and people riding around in my car or something? Cause them the only moves you can be busting. Cause you ain't making money moves. Cause you always need ten dollars. And nigga ain't even got his own blunts. We gonna leave that alone. We gonna leave that alone. Cause you gotta provide everything. You like, I got. I feel like somebody called Tyrone. That's how I feel right now. So. If you don't understand what his role is, or what your role should be, or what roles you want him to play, how can he play him? How can he be a part of your life? How can he help you and benefit you? How can he benefit you, make you better? Y'all didn't understand that. So, let's think about this for a minute. You know what you want, you know what you need. The problem is, everybody likes to settle. My, my mantra is, no excuses, 
no selling. If I know what I want out of you, what I want out of you as a woman, I'm going to tell you what I want, what I expect. But I'm going to show you as a man what my job is, how I am going to provide, how I'm going to try to be there emotionally. Now, I ain't going to sit there and lie and be like, I'm going to sit back and you get to cry and I'm going to start crying. I'll be like, she cries so damn much. I'm like, ooh, I'm so sick of her crying. I'm like, ooh, I wish she'd stop crying. I'm like, we ain't even got no more toilet paper. Because she, what she do? She used it all on her tears. Like, I went to the bathroom. Like, what's up? She was sitting in the bed crying. Like, it wasn't no more tissue because she keep crying. Stop the damn crying. Talk to me. Tell me what you want. But don't keep bringing up something that's been resolved. Remember this real quick. When we talk about roles in relationship, the biggest default in everything is this. If you don't, if you discuss the subject matter and y'all got to understand and say, hey, we good with it. Y'all say it's done. Please don't bring it back up because brothers leave it alone. To us, if you say it's done, it's done. Six months later, you like, oh, you remember when I sent you with that girl? And I be like, what girl? You like that girl? I'm like, what girl? That girl? What girl? What girl? That girl? I don't know that girl. I never seen that girl. But you still remember this. Let it go. So if his role is to be a provider, if his role is to communicate and to love you and to help you help you grow, you got to want to grow too. What is your role at the same time? So before we get to his role and her role, let's think about this. What are you going to do to be the person that you want out of somebody else? Ooh, y'all weren't ready for that one. I caught y'all on guard. Like, wait a minute. Did he really just say, how am I going to be a better me to have a better man? Yes, you got to be a better you because if you keep being this hood rat chick, you got hood rat niggas. But if you become a woman, you'll be the man. I don't know why that's so hard, but most of y'all be like, I keep meeting the same type of dude. Well, you keep wearing the same little skirt. Why don't you pull the skirt down a little bit, button the shirt up. You know, you can't come out with everything short. I'm going to keep it, keep it P.I. with y'all. I hope y'all understand what I'm about to say. If you walk around in a whole outfit, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? We go expect that. So now, what is his role in a relationship? Because what, he, what you give off is what he's going to give back to you. It's real simplistic. I'm going to give y'all some examples of what they said. We in chapter 5. And you know you need to go get you a copy of the book. I'm so, y'all just playing too much. This is, what y'all doing is not the Lord's work playing with me, not ordering this book. Because this book is to help you, help you. I'm like, they don't get what I'm saying. So I'm going to give y'all a quick response that they said. Now, for the women, we in chapter 5, remember that, okay? Remember, hold on. Strap in, lock the walkers. Woosah <sighs> if you got to, if you got to, anime, eat some cake, whatever you got to do, let's get it done. For the women, they all had very good and broad answers, yet one answer was universal. Provided, again, if Ray Ray drives your car and needs $10 for gas, he's not a provider. Let's just get that clear. Second of all, they had responses ranging from provider to God-fearing, leader, protector, head of household. Let's stop right there. If he's going to be God-fearing, a leader, a protector, and head of household, he can't if he riding that Nissan Altima definitely. And baseline and people and with his guys them smoking weed and he borrowing blunt money from you to go kick it. So them just some of the aspects that they say, but let's let's understand how he not fit in that role. Now, honest, loyal, spiritual, consistent, open, comforter, loving, decisive, communicative, financially stable. Ten dollars from you ain't stable. I'm sorry, he need ten dollars every other day. That he can't be financially stable. I don't. Maybe he need to go collect cans. He need to to, to sell single cigarettes on the corner. I don't know, but he got to do something to bring something in because that, that's not financially stable. He got to get past fries. Someone who would cherish and adore her, be attentive to her needs, and last but not least, be good in some intimacy department. That was a call. That's the one I want y'all to hear. That's the reason half of y'all stuck in the relationships y'all in now because somebody that met you and what I call it is you done got Mike Lard. Y'all remember Mike Lard from Bad Boys? You know, they running through half niggas because... He's like, I'm Mike Lowry. You know, he Mike Lowry. You know, Mike for I'm I'm like Mike Lowry for real. Like, I'm like also the president and also a member, but y'all need to know about that right now because y'all ain't ready for Mike. But again, somebody to mic you, you don't know what to do with yourself. You, you know, you, you wanna you're like, uh, you know, uh y'all know, uh, he he done got you. So now he can ride that these time off to mother death. He ain't gonna put no gas in it. You gonna keep weed money in his pocket, all because that's all it was. He don't fit none of the other criteria. So if that's what you want, hey, settle. If you cool with that, I'm fine with that. If you excited, I'm excited. Think about this though. What do you really want? How do you want him to be? How do you want to be with him? How do you want him to conduct himself with and around you? Think about that. Now this time, let's try this again. Must Be Me is a book to help you help you. Y'all might not get that, so let me repeat that. It's to help you help you. I know like, whoo, a lot of y'all, whoo, like it's just, Ain't no light bulbs, no nothing going on right now. Y'all just sitting there like, 
I just feel like I hear crickets. Like, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. But again, get a copy of the book, read it, get some understanding. Maybe I can get some of y'all together after y'all comment at hashtag must be me book and tell me what y'all say. We can sit down here on the stoop like players and have a real live open discussion and talk about this. And then you maybe start to find out some things about yourself that you like, man, I'm attracting people like that because I'm doing this. And they don't know their role because we never talked about it. Hey, next week, it's the same thing. But we're going to get back at y'all. We're going to have a whole other way we're going to do this format. So I'm telling y'all, just get your copy. We got the book signing next week at Hookah Live on 56th and North Avenue from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday, September 15th, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Hookah Live, 56th North and North Avenue, Walker, Wisconsin. Come on, check it out because I'm going to ask y'all questions. Y'all might be able to get to ask me one. I don't know if I'm going to give y'all that tip, but I got some questions for y'all because some of y'all don't get a tip. So check this out. Next week, make sure you get you a copy, get an understanding, and we're going to grow from here. Peace.